Right, the number of people joining has been stable for a little while, so I think we can probably get underway in a minute or two. Uh, and we'll, yeah, I'll keep an eye on things and make sure people enjoy it throughout. Okay, so let's start now, I guess, and then see if people will trickle in. So thank you very much. Good afternoon. Bon vieux, answer. <laughs> so we have um, two hours for this workshop session. And the goal of this session is to translate Wikipedia properties in our languages. Yay. I mean, two hours might not be enough to translate all of the 10,000 properties in all of the languages that are missed on them. But I hope that after this session, at least people who didn't know how to translate properties who will be able to, to sort of understand how to do it. So first things first, introductions. Uh, my name is Mohammed Sadat Abdullah. I am the Community Communications Manager for Wikidata at Wikimedia Deutschland for the past two years. I work with the software development team in Berlin, where I also currently live. I am originally from Mali in Ghana. And on the volunteer side of things, my username is Masli uh, with a double triple S. And I edit Wikidata in Dagbani, Hausa, Chi, and English. I'll be facilitating this workshop session together with two speakers who are very actively engaged, volunteers in their respective communities. So before we get started, uh, Teklan and Musa FM, why don't you introduce yourselves to our audience? Okay, so hello, welcome everyone. I'm Galder Gonzalez from the Basque Wikipedia. I'm a user there and also quite active in, in Wikidata, especially with reducing data and some uploads. Um, and we have you today with um, with this with this workshop of translation. So Musa, please. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, Good afternoon, Antri Indagbani. Um, my name is Musa Fuseni. I go by the username Musa FM. I'm a member of the Dagbani Wikimedia user group. I'm a team member uh, and I'm a project lead for one of the subgroups within the Dagbani Wikimedia user group, known as the Mori Wikimedia. I'm the project lead for uh, that uh, Wikimedia. I'm going to be co presenting today, and I hope to learn from you and also learn from me. Thank you. All right, thank you for that, Kalda Musa. Um, now let's take a quick look at some housekeeping stuff first. So, you know, the General Media Foundation Friendly Space Policy applies to this conference. Um, you can follow the link here to access the full policy. And this workshop is recorded on YouTube for documentation purposes so that others can rewatch it later. And people who have signed up as active editors can turn off your camera and microphone anytime. Um, you can turn it on anytime you want to speak. Though, you know, I would encourage you to keep your microphones off if you are not speaking. Anyone else, you can use the chat to ask questions and to add comments or to respond to feedback and so on. Just make sure that you select to everyone so that everyone can see your comments. And finally, feel free to join the Celtic Nook Telegram groups. We have the participants group, the announcements channel, the social group for off-topic discussions. And yeah, although today is the last day of the conference, it's still far from over. So continue to post and tweet about it on social media with the hashtag Celtic Nuts 2022. Um, so moving on to the agenda, we have 120 minutes in total. Let's see if we can maximize that time very well to translate as many properties as possible. So in the first 25 minutes, we'll have Galda talk briefly about Wikidata and how it's used in the Wikimedia project. So this will help to bring everyone on the same page, at least as to what Wikidata is. Then Musa will talk a bit more in depth as to why we need Wikidata property labels to be translated into many different languages. So in that, uh, Musa will talk about, you know, some good rules of thumb for translating properties and some challenges that you can be aware of. 
this would all take like 25 minutes. And I know you have plenty of questions for them after that. So we'll take 10 minutes for a Q&A session after that. Um, after the Q&A, Galda will uh, walk us through how to get your personalized languages, you know, list of personalized languages to show up in the Wikidata term box. Let's estimate about 15 minutes to walk you all through that. Then Musa will again take 20 minutes to help you to create a task list based on the languages that you know and want to translate properties from. And then hopefully armed with all of these skills, we can start translating. <laughs> and of course, throughout this process, you can keep asking questions, uh, supporting others who may need help, show interesting tools you use that can be helpful to others, things like that, I'll really appreciate. So without much ado, I'll pass it on to Galda to talk to us a little bit about what Wikidata is. Thank you, Mohamed. So many of you will know Wikidata, or will know that it exists. Uh, so some of these parts will be repetitive for you, but if not, uh, well, Wikidata is uh, one of the projects of the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, it's the youngest one, but uh, it's, it's not so young now. It's, uh, it's starting to be mature. Um, Wikidata is uh, simply a database who everyone can candidate and everyone can uh, reuse the materials that you are up there. Uh, Wikidata is free. And when I mean free, it's not like only like free beer, it's also like free speech uh, and you can reuse it for whatever you want because the license there is CC0. That it's not the same license that in Wikipedia that we can CC by SA. Uh, and this, this means that uh, you can build a lot of tools based on Wikidata, um, Wikidata um, uh, data that's stored there uh, without even seeing that you are, uh, every data is coming from there. And um, it's collaborative like all the other projects in Wikipedia. And there are a lot of people working there. And especially there are a lot of bots also working there and importing data, creating it. And it's a, it may be some more techy than, um, than Wikipedia, but uh, it's, not, um, it's not the most techy thing you have. I mean, it, it can be pretty simple to do and collaboration there can be simple and we're going to see that. It's multilingual. Uh, this is quite interesting because um, we have uh, we don't need to create an item for every language. Like all items are multilingual by default. Uh, so if I translate the levels and the properties, we'll, we'll see that later. Uh, I have it translated forever, and every time I don't know someone from China is typing that some writer, it's actually a writer. If I have the word writer translated in my language, I will have it done. Uh, and I'm, I'm using the workforce for everyone in the world to have it in my language. And that's actually different from working on Wikipedia, where we have to translate every article. We have to create every article. Every time we create an item, it can be created in more than 300 languages at the same time. That's, that's something great to reuse. It's a secondary database. And this, this means that uh, there are we link also other databases. Uh, you can use Wikidata to link between databases. And that's quite interesting also for librarians because in many libraries, they have their own database and another library system has another one. And linking that this author is the same as that is important or linking that this same place is the same that this same place in another uh, database. Is I think um, you can access more information from Wikidata articles, Wikipedia articles, if you have the Wikidata if you are grabbing this information, so you can go to libraries or to external archives and, and see what they are doing. We are also collecting structured data. That means that um, we are, we don't have a pros. We, we, we are really having only data, but this data must be a structure. It means that everything that is there must have an item. So all relations are direct and all relations are unequivocal. And um, this makes easier to find data and to reuse it. 
and also makes it easier to build a knowledge base. And it can be used for lots of things because uh, all data is uh, perfectly structured. Well, there, there are some problems there, but it, it should be perfectly structured. And uh, it's, it's then easy to, to collect from different places and just uh, grab it. Um, with Wikidata, we can provide support for Wikipedia. And this is quite important because uh, in many small Wikipedias, we don't have the task force to have, for example, all the templates or all the info boxes with the uh, last minute information. Let's see, let's say that, for example, in I have an article about the town uh, and I have the mayor there, but it's collected from Wikidata. So every time the mayor changes, someone can change the data in Wikidata and I have all automatically changing all Wikipedias that are linking uh, from there. Um, many other things we can do, like we can get other information like uh, population or uh, coordinates or uh, as I said, like uh, library links or whatever, the, the uses are really important. And it's not only for Wikipedia, also you may notice that in Commons, we have uh, these uh, info boxes with information and this is also collected from Wikipedia. Um, and that's it. It's also other Wikimedia wikis can provide, can, can get information from Wikidata. So actually having uh, accurate information in Wikidata may be more important in the future. And uh, also we can have uh, not only items or things, we can also have words that will be more important even in the future. And translating them is, is really important because uh, we can make multilingual tools, multilingual apps, and anyone in the world can, can use it. So next slide, please. We have some examples of how Wikidata can uh, be used in, in other wikis. Um, we can make automatic templates. There are more easy and more complex ones. Uh, this is... Um, an info box in that one in Wikipedia. Uh, you see that pencils that say that you can change that in, in Wikidata. And I think that the red, that the green link, uh, the green button means that this is translated or something like that. But I, I don't know how you manage that in that money. But also if you want to Basque Wikipedia or Catalan Wikipedia or Irish Wikipedia, there are a lot of very complex templates. I mean, with very complex, they do a lot of things but the user must only insert the play. And that's a great thing because the user don't need longer to know how to code it, how to edit a template in Wikidata, how to maintain it. That is quite difficult that you have to learn it. And with this, it will be way easier. Uh, we can also make maps and graphs from data from Wikidata using some other stations like Cartographer or, or we, you can use uh, with graphs that takes automatically, for example, population data and these kind of things. Uh, you can know how, for example, how a subject is uh, is being developed in different places, like uh, searching with Wikidata searches, and you can have uh, like list of things that are missing or list of, list of things you have. And we can also provide visualizations like uh, timelines, uh, maps, uh, graphs with uh, relations between things or just yes, plain tables. Um, this, this is quite interesting because you can have different ways of showing information. Hopefully in the future, we will be able to add live maps that now is not possible, that we are working more with captures. Um, but you can do many interesting things with uh, also with maps, with the cartographic extension, and it's, it's quite complex, but you can do that. And the most interesting thing is that you can make lists and tables that work with Wikidata list uh, uh, bot. And these tables are automatically uh, filled, so you can have so automatic, automatically lists. This is nice, please, Mohamed. So, we can have uh, more complex things done, like uh, some templates are, are using, uh, I mean, you can, you can be very selective on, well, with what you are sewing, but actually it can be pretty easy because for example, uh, we can get, get from 
queen 42 that will be uh, Douglas Adams. We can get an uh, image from there just using some basic code. You can do it more. You can do more complex things using a module of Wikidata and this kind of thing. So if anyone wants to talk about that, it's not here at the moment, but you can write to to other users and other Wikipedia's who are working on that. And uh, yes, that's it. That in special version, you can check if this functionality are, are activated. But if not, you can also install some modules, and, and it's pretty easy to, to get uh, to get some information from from Wikidata. Next, please, Mohamed. All right. Thank you so much, Galda, for that super brief Wikidata summary. Um, it's now clear what Wikidata is, I think, um, and you know some of the ways it, it can be used to power sister Wikimedia projects. Um, next up, Musa. So now that we know some of the various ways Wikidata is used in other projects. Can you help us to understand why we need to translate properties into other languages? Why is that important? Okay. Yeah. Hello, everyone. And good afternoon again. Um, let me share my screen. Um, do you want to share your screen specifically, or do you want to use the screen that I have? I think it's showing the same thing, right? Okay, trying to share my screen. <coughs> yes, can you see my screen? Not yet. Let's give it a few seconds. Okay. Yes. Yes. Is my screen? Yes. We can yeah, see okay. it now. So my duty for now is to tell us why we need to translate um, properties on the um, on the um, wiki data. Okay. So we are, it is necessary for us to translate uh, properties on wiki data because um, speakers of specific lang language. Uh, to better understand the properties on the uh, wiki data. For example, if um, you have instance of um, educated arts, a wiki data item about the personality, if you see these properties in Dagbani, instead of educated art, you are seeing it as shukuredin kocham. It makes it more understandable to the users of some, uh, to a Dagbani editor or user. The other reason why we need to translate uh, Wikidata properties is for editors and users of Wikidata to relate well with um, Wikidata. Of course, if they are seeing the template and the, um, the properties in their local language, I think um, they are able to understand them, appreciate what they stand for and how they are utilized. I think they are able to um, relate well with uh, the properties and the Wikidata at large. It is also necessary to translate Wikidata properties because it helps improve data box. Galda earlier on talked about um, the um, data box. And then the, um, if you can see on my screen, a screenshot of a um, Wikipedia article about Nagarwa, that is the king of Dagbon. You see at the top right corner, you see his photo and then a summarized um, important information in that box. That one is actually taken from Wikidata. Um, the data box allows users to have access to the structured data in um, Wikidata in their Wikipedia, especially where that particular article is connected or linked to its corresponding uh, Wikidata item. So I can, as you can see, you have probably do, if it is in English, you'll be seeing uh, maybe gender here. And then we have Yumangli, that is the given name, Doandapsili, that is a um, date of birth. So you see that if you have an article that is in Dagbani, then the data box summarizes, uh, gives you a summary of structured data 
that is also in the money. You see that it makes the whole thing look uh, more beautiful. So that's why we are saying that um, translating Wikidata properties helps to improve data box. Again, if you look at the article I'm opening here, that's an article about um, Jerry John Rawlings, the former president of Ghana. May he rest in peace. You see that um, the data box shows uh, structured data about him that has been imported from um, um, uh, Wikidata through the help of a um, data box. So you see that because the volunteers from the Dagban Wikimedia community, because they have already translated the properties uh, in terms of the gender, the country of citizenship and all that, you see that they are appearing here in Dagbani. So seeing that summarized data in the data box, the properties in Dagbani, as well as the article itself in Dagbani, it makes the whole thing look nice. And if you observe critically, there are certain properties because they are not yet translated, you see them still in English, like we have um, position held. So you see that because that one is not yet translated, um, it is still in English. So assuming you belong to a particular Wikipedia, which has not yet translated the properties in Wikidata, you see that all these will be appearing in English. And that's going to be difficult for people, especially people who cannot read and write in English. Okay, so translating the properties on Wikidata also helps to beautify or improve lexicographical data. And I open the um, um, uh, lexicographical data is a component of Wikidata which tries to uh, document all the words in the specific languages and taking emphasis on the, the grammatical aspect of it. So if you look at this lexem in Dagbani, that is Kuli. Kuli is the who the uh, farm implement we use in digging or um, weeding. So as it is here, you see it has quality of. Musa, if you are still there, I think you just went off. Hello, Musa, can you hear us? Musa, if you can hear us. Let me know if you are still there. Okay, looks like Musa got um, has issue with internet. Um, I guess so, help you want. Do you want? Yes. Sorry. If, if you present in the same slides, I can I can go with you. Yeah, take it away, Gauda, if you want to. Yeah. Can you still, no, his slide is gone, so I should present it from my end. Just give me a second. That's it. Okay, you should be able to see where he left yes. off. Okay, so the thing we see here, we are seeing here, is that uh, we can um, we can translate um, we can translate the statements like uh, we, we can translate properties and we can translate also items. And uh, here we can see that, for example, in this in this um, exim, uh, we have translated. I'm not going to, to pronounce this. Well, but the Mali Nazim Bank, uh, that, that you have the property. But the other one, grammatical gender, is only in English, and neuter is also in English. And you can translate that, those, and then you will have them in, in Dagbani or in any, any language you, have, you want. And that will be reflected in, in other places you are, you are working, and it will be easier to find what is about and, and how to do that. The problem there must be sometimes uh, this. These are quite, quite abstract things to translate, but uh, actually most of them are, are can be done, can be translated somehow. 
So I don't know what uh, Musa was going to comment or, but I think that that, that will be enough for here. Um, so how to translate something? Well, the first thing is, is important. It's not, uh, it's not a word by word translation. It's not uh, translating like exactly like this, but we want to translate meaning. And uh, sometimes we have to think out of the box. It's not like translating exactly the word because we can have two or three properties that must be translated the same thing. Uh, especially happens this with propositions that in English they are different, but in other languages they map is the same proposition. Uh, preposition, sorry. So uh, just think on, on on how how you will say that uh, in your language in a really natural natural way. Um, but at the same time, translation needs to be as brief as possible. We can't we can make a sentence. It can be something like only one, two words, three words at most. It depends on your language. And in Basque, for example, something must be translated like in two words because normally it would be a preposition. Or there are some concepts in English that are only one word and you two, but don't be don't make a sentence. Make it uh, make it simple. Um, and there are languages with don't have a 100% uh, representation of the other concept. Doesn't matter. Try to be the most accurate uh, you can. And all properties also have a description, so you can you can describe their, what it is for. Um, if you need to translate something that is um, controversial or you don't have a word for that or whatever, then uh, Discuss with the community, which which will be the most suitable word. How to, how to translate something, and eventually you will get a consensus or not. I don't know, but um, just for fun, uh, I mean a Basque like home uh, is say yeah. I, I, I mean I'm at home now, but a home page uh, will be say like something like main page. I mean imagine like that so when i check for my home in google maps i get main page because someone translated it back so check with the community check if it's reads or not um it must be difficult to translate some term technical terms that we don't have in our language doesn't matter uh, some language some terms might be untranslatable uh, doesn't happen don't 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 bother for that. I think Musa is coming, but I will continue with this. Um, hello. Yes, hello, Musa. Are yeah, you there? Musa, I'm back. Okay. Sorry, hello, I got disconnected by the internet. Yeah. No yeah. problems. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to? So did you guys continue? I can yes. continue. Yes. Oh, so I should continue from the challenges here. Yes, that would be nice. Okay. So <laughs> the challenges of translating properties. Uh, there are certain times that um, you come across technical or unfamiliar um, terminologies and uh, it is quite difficult to translate. Um, for example, when you look at a terminology that is a uh, transparent network, I think um, in Dabani, I think it's going to be a very difficult task for the community, the volunteers to be able to translate that. Even instance of um, uh, there were community members had to come together to just give the closest meaning to insta instance of in Dagbani, and we took it as a um, boxula. Then the other challenge that uh, volunteers may encounter whilst translating the wiki data properties into, uh, into their specific language is you, there are certain things that are not just existing at all in their languages. And that is going to be a very big um, challenge for volunteers. Then language structure difference. Um, sometimes the structure of the English language might be different from your specific language. For example, I'm given my illustration in Dagban because that is where I edit most. So um, participants might uh, pardon me for that. When you look at the English um, uh, language, we normally have um, the adjective coming before um, now. For example, you can see nines watch nines is adjective and then the um, watch is now but when you come to dagbani it is rather the reverse you see watch it jelly the noun comes before the adjective and so when you are translating properties and you 
come across things like this um, is, is, is quite a big challenge for editors. Now, a new editors or users may not be familiar with certain um, translations. And um, like I mentioned earlier, earlier on, because certain terminologies are non-existent in our language, sometimes uh, volunteers will have to come together and then give the closest translation. And usually in such cases, those people who are not part of the discussion or who did not take part in the translation, maybe they are new editors or they are users of the, that particular information in that item, they may not understand what uh, is actually being talked about here. For example, currently we have in our Dagbani um, Wikipedia, something like um, um, published changes. If a new user or volunteer comes across the way we translated it, the person might not understand what we are talking about. If not, uh, those of us who were among it, or maybe we have taken the new volunteers through a workshop to uh, explain these things to them, when they encounter them, they may not understand what it is being talked about here. Then we have certain ways that have several meanings. For example, when you come to the property itself, somebody might be thinking about it like material things that uh, somebody possesses, like houses, plots of land, cars, and other things. But that is not the case here. And then we also have statements, statement in, as in sentence or in language. When you come to Wikidata, when you are talking about statements, we are talking about uh, something else. And then we also have uh, conflict. Uh, a Wikidata item about a personality. There is a property that is talking about um, conflict. You will be thinking about maybe the fight the person has with other things, other people, or something like that. But that is not what is being talked about here. So when a word had several meanings, um, translating them, Will be quite difficult unless you take your time to understand the context within which such a, a term or a word is utilized. Yeah, next slide, please. Okay, yeah. thank you so, so much. Yeah. That was yeah. that was really fascinating. Um, just listening to, I mean, I'm very curious to hear how you know various communities, like individual communities. And the languages, different languages, ended up adopting certain words. Um, I'm just very interested in like the kind of discussions that really happened that got them to resolve, you know, the, the, the misunderstandings of the word and how they came to conclude on using one particular term. If we have some more time um, after this q and I would like to hear if you have like some some, some example scenarios you, you would like to share with us. Now, um, we have some time for questions. Um, I want to hear from all of you. Do you have any questions at the moment you would like to ask about what has been presented? Um, so once again, if you signed up to the session as an active participant, you can really turn your mic and then ask or make a comment. And also, if you just want to use the chat, that's also welcome. Um, so let's see, what do we have? I see a question here from Amiru. It says, is there a tool that shows a list of properties whose names are not translated into my language? That's an interesting question. Um, Musa Ogalda, would you like to take it? Yeah. Yeah. Musa, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. So there's a way of determining um, 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 the properties that are not yet translated in your language, and you are able to do that by way of uh, use, making good use of the Wiki, uh, a query service from, from Wikidata. You can run a query to determine the properties that are translated or the properties that are not yet translated. And uh, I think that's actually the next slides uh, we are going to talk about. So that indeed, we are yeah. going to talking about that pretty soon. Yeah. So you can use a query to do that, Amir. Um, do we have any other questions from anyone? I see a question from Chen Wei, which says, please, can you help concerning linking properties? Um, I don't think I understand what you mean, Chen Wei. Do you want to explain, unmute yourself and explain? 
if you are an active participant. Or you can just add that to the chats and then I can read it out. So yeah, concerning about linking properties, if you could explain more, that would be awesome. Another question I see here, how can new categories be created? I don't know what you mean by categories, Adara. If, if you are asking for properties, uh, there is a property proposal place and you have to discuss it. Uh, I'm going to, to put it in the, the link. So, um, okay, there's a process to create properties, as Calva said, uh, a link will be shared soon. Um, Chin we do is explaining, like when we have human, how do we add reference to that? Um, uh, I think I mean, this is out of, out of scope, but uh, well, I don't need, think you have to reference on someone as a human. But yeah, I think that's, perhaps, that's an interesting philosophical and ontological question. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. And I think, can um, we do if maybe you want to um, clarify a bit more? I feel that you mean, do you need to add like references to when you translate a label? Perhaps that's what you mean. Yeah, so that. Um, um, it, it looks like Goody is trying to add flesh to Chinedu's question. He's saying that after translating labels and properties, will it reflect on the existing data boxes that, that are in English? Or uh, do we need to re edit it? Okay. Do you want to take it, Musa? Um, from the previous session, that was about data box. It's like um, when a template for data box is created for your wiki. Um, you can add uh, the template in the Wikipedia article. And then when you go to Wikidata and link the article to the Wikipedia, the structured data is summary of the um, main features in that particular item will reflect in the article. I don't know if that answers this question. Let us know if it answers a question or <laughs> not. Do you want to add something, Galvin? Maybe not. Okay. So I see another question here which says, um, how about if I can translate a particular property? Maybe because it's protected. Yeah, so that, that, that's a good question. Uh, question like you, we don't have a word for that and uh, it makes it really impossible to do that and we can find a workaround i think that having it in the original or in, in the in english or in a language that uh, must be i don't know a lingua franca can be there might be a word for that um i don't think this happens with most of the of the languages but there are, for example, some properties that are for sieves, like uh, the height of the sieves, and many languages that live in places without water, but uh, these words. So imagine something, or just let it. I think it doesn't happen. Thank you for that. Galvin, um, I see. Onwuka wanted to speak, and Richard, you're going to make them a panelist so they can clarify their question. Yeah, that's right. I think that should have happened. So they should be able to unmute now. Okay, you can unmute now, Onwuka, and let us understand what you are asking. In the meantime, anyone else has some more questions that our panelists could answer? Okay, Is says, I have a general question. We are listening to you, Is. Yes. 
So Ace is asking, is there any other language that has two or more orthographies? Yes, lots of them. <laughs> even three, even three, like Uzbek. So don't worry about that. Um, yeah, so there are many languages, Serbian. Um, perhaps Serbian is an example of a language with another one that has many auto, um, orthographies. I don't know what this Serbian comment was referring to, though. Um, Carmen, um, were you answering Ace's question? Okay, so Sadiq says Uzbek. Okay, and so that was a response to the question that is asked about photographies. So there are several of them Uzbek, um, Serbian, and possibly more. So Ace is clarifying because it's really a challenge to do the properties in both photographies. Okay. Uh, now, Uka, um, I think you are able to unmute and speak now, if you could do so and clarify the question that you are asking the panelists. So you can do that by clicking on the unmute button. I actually don't know how in language with more than one orthography is done the properties thing, but yes, you can check Serbian or you can check uh, Uzbek how they are doing that. Okay, so come in, add some more um, details. They say Serbian uses um, Cyrillic script most often, but very often Latin script. Okay, um, if you have any more questions, please keep adding them to the chat. Good afternoon, um, please. Good afternoon, it's me. Oh, I want to afternoon. ask about something. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, okay. I want to ask, I've been hearing properties, properties. What is this properties all about? Well, are there examples of properties? I saw translating wiki properties in our languages. What are those properties? Can they be enlisted? Okay, so Kalda, Musa, um, yes. in so, very simple terms, how would you explain what a property is? Yeah, so it's, um, in, in a database, we have properties and then we have items. Properties are uh, things like, for example, which is the capital city of Ghana? And so in that question, the property will be capital city, okay? And you have an item that is Ghana and you have a property that is capital city, who gives another item. We, what is, I have to check. Capital of Ghana, is it say, correct? <laughs> Wait a moment. Wait, I'm going um, so a property must be a city. Accra, yes. uh, no, property will be capital city or population yeah. or governor or area or coordinates or whatever question you are doing about that item. The item in this case is Ghana. Um, so properties are, or all languages are questions you can ask about whatever you want. So translating the questions in, in your language is the most important thing. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank so you. if if I may I may add, um yes. when, when you are writing about an item, you know the item could be about a, a personality, um a place, uh, an animal, an idea, or, or anything. So whatever you are writing about, the various features that you want to talk about that item. For example, if you are talking about a human being, is the human being uh, a male or female? That's talking about, so that's why we have the property. 
gender because you want to talk about whether the person is a male, female, transgender, or whatever. And then you also want to talk about where the person has gone to school, the schools that the person has attended. So that's why you want to talk about that. So that's why we have educated art to talk about the school that the person has attended. Then you also want to talk about the work the person is doing. And that's why we have the property occupation. So basically the properties are the things that you want to write about or share, share information about an item, simply put. Thanks. Thanks for that, Moussa. And Daria has very nicely posted a link to a list of all of the Wikidata properties that are available. I think there are slightly more than 10,000 of them now. Majority of them are um, external identifiers, uh, but the key ones are somewhere around 30,000. So, um, yeah. Now, let's see. Um, okay, let's take one last question before we move on. How, this is from Ace. How can I see the properties in Uzbek language with different orthographies? Um, Let me give you a link. Yeah, very briefly. <laughs> Okay, so let's let's do add this to uh, to um, to the next few slides, and then we we'll come back to this question later. Because we run out of time if we answer everything now. Okay, and the slides I also going to share on comments, so you can review them later on. Um, now let's get started. So um, before we do, Galda, could you? walk us through how to get a list of personalized languages to show up in the Wikidata term box so that if I want to add you know labels in a, in a particular language I would be able to do so. Yes so this is important now because Wikidata if you access like uh, randomly uh, you you will get it in English mostly I think I don't know if it has changed but not mostly it's in English and so you need to notice that you, you, you need to say to Wikidata that you are a speaker of another language. And this is quite tricky. It's not so easy. Uh, so the easiest way to do this is adding a bubble box to your user page. A bubble box is a box that says which languages you are speaking, and what is your expertise of that language. So N will be native, Five will be like near native, and then it goes like four, three, two, one, one, and zero. I mean, zero is like I don't speak it, that language uh, at all. These bubble boxes were created in, Wiki in Wikipedia and helped people to know which language the other uh, people spoke. But um, it's interesting that you can add this code to your user page, and then you will have the Wikidata properties. Uh, and the translation options in your languages or the language you have to speak. Yeah. So here we can see a code that will be, wait, go back, please. Here we see that code that will be bracket, bracket, uh, slash, slash, no, uh, uh, hashtag, uh, Babel, semicolon, and uh, line five, uh, colon, dash, and, and um, if you go, go to the next one, yes, please, now. Next, next slide, please. So it gives this. And uh, this says that you are a professional, you have a professional knowledge of English that would be five or four, it will be like near native uh, uh, knowledge. Uh, and you say that you are a native, uh, a native uh, speaker of the badly. And you speak a little bit of a uh, house and tree. You can do what with whatever languages you are talking or you are speaking, and then once you do that, you will get the items and the properties uh, with uh, uh, the, the missing translation in the language. So you can check it. Um, I don't know if the next one, yes. And, and so we have an etherpad to see your usernames. And then once you, once you are, um, once you save the, that, uh, you will have it, uh, the option to do it in your language, okay? Cool. 
So before we continue, I think this is the best time to ask you all, everyone here to add your Wikipedia username to this data file. If you enter w.wiki slash five caps h small g and five, um, that would be very helpful. I would like to see how many people are here, how many people are going to you know, translate or participate, uh, you know, how many translations we've done, I don't know, the session and in how many different languages. So please take a minute and add your name, your username, and if you also like your affiliation, um, that's fine with you. So let's take a minute to do that. Please add it to the ether part right now. So the link to the Etherpad is shared. And please be precise about your Wikimedia username else it, we might not be able to find it if it's like spelled differently. <laughs> You could probably, if you want to put your full name, you can put your full name and then your username in brackets. And if you want to add your affiliation also at the end of it. That's awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. So um, let's move on to the next part. Uh, Musa, I have a question for you. Let's say I want to get a, a working list of properties to, to translate. We had a number of questions in the chat where people were asking what are properties, and hopefully they've had some clarification around that now. Let's say now I want to get a list of properties to work with. I speak Igbo, for example. Can you help us? Yeah, okay. So I think somebody earlier on asked that um, a very important um, um, question. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing my screen, can you see it? Not yet, but a few seconds, yes. Can you, see, can can you see the slides? Screen. Can you see the slides? Yes. Um, Okay, so to get a list of uh, properties to translate, um, like you mentioned earlier on, you need a, a query about the properties that are not yet translated into that specific um, language. And um, participants uh, should not um, worry much about um, creating or developing a, a query. You, you can adopt one from a different language and then edit it to your own specific language. So we have a query of properties that are not yet translated into the Dagbani language. And that is the link here. I think uh, Leah or Sadat will share it on the chat box. So you can adapt one that one into your own language. So if you click on it, this is the source code of the query. And um, it is to find out the properties that are not yet translated into Dagbani. You can actually use the query to find out all properties that are not yet translated into your language. But for the purpose of this um, workshop, we are limiting um, the number to 10 properties that are not yet translated into the Dagbani language um, for easy loading. You know, uh, some of us, might have not yet translated much on our uh, various uh, languages. So if you are running the query to 
capture all the properties that are not yet translated, um, it might take some time. So that's why for the purpose of this training, we are limiting it to 10. And this is a source code for the query. So what, if you run the query by clicking the play button here, it will give you the properties that are not yet translated into Dagbani. So to adapt this into your own language, you see there's a, a place they put um, a language code. In this particular case, we are talking about Dagbani. So this is the language code for Dagbani, DAG. So you can edit that one out to the language code of your specific language. And then it will produce, the results will produce the 10 properties that are not yet translated into the language code that you have added here. For example, if I want to find the 10, uh, um, these are the properties that are not yet translated into Dagbani. We have root map, transport network, spouse, and all that, continent, and all that. So assuming I want to edit this to find out the 10 properties that are not yet translated into, let's say, the Mori language, the source code for the Mori language is M O S. So if I run the query, you see that the properties that were not translated into Dagbani are different from the ones that are not yet translated into uh, Mori here. So I think participants can adopt this query by just changing the language code here into their specific language codes. For example, if your language code is, let's say, ABC, you come to MO, the, the language code for the Mori here, and then change it to the language code for your specific language. Then when you do that and you run the query by clicking the play button here, it will produce the top 10 properties that are not yet translated in your language. I don't know whether that makes um, sense so that. Yes, that's helpful. So mm -hmm. I see that the query you are showing us is giving us um, just, you know, 10 untranslated properties. Uh, you could also get a list of like uh, the top 10 most, you know, um, untranslated properties. And, you can, I found this neat little tool that you could help, uh, you, you could use. It's, it's called wikidataprop.toolforge.org. I've added it to the chat. You can take a quick look at it also if um, anyone here is interested. So I think we are on top of the hour now. Let's see, um, what do we have next? Let's actually, so I think we can now, try to um, translate some properties that are not yet translated on. Yes, so let's take the last um, about 15 minutes or so to actually get some translations done. Um, everyone feel free to start adding labels to- So, so, Sarat, language. Sarat. Mm -hmm. so I think for now, participants should try to adapt this uh, query into their own specific uh, languages by changing the language code here before we we'll move forward. Yes. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. So do that, everyone, um, for your specific language that you'd like to work on for the next 45 minutes or so. And if you have challenges, if the query isn't running for some reason, just uh, let us know in the chat, then we can we can help you out. Please don't touch or change anything except the language code where I've highlighted here. You put your own language code there and then you run the query. It will produce this resource below here. So you see that there are 10. So you click the play button that looks like the blue icon, right? To run yeah. the query. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, and it would really be nice if, you know, that like several people who speak the same language work together. Um, that would be so helpful. At the end, we can hear how you resolve some of the, uh, the issues you had with like, you know, picking the right words for some properties. And also active participants, anytime you can unmute, your mic and then even share your screen if you want. 
and, and everyone else, feel free to keep asking questions in the chat. So, Musa, if you can unshare your screen now. Okay. Thanks. So, um, as you run this query and you get a list of um, properties in your language that you can translate. And Galda just shared with us um, a recent history query in the chat where we can see actually, you know, what has been translated and, uh, you know, the activity that is currently happening. I, I served with, with, with you actually, not with everyone. So you can show that in the, in the, oh, okay. in the, in the screen. <laughs> yeah. So this is the recent history for Wikidata activities. The edits that are currently happening, you can go there as well. Uh, I'm just going there now, see what is happening. Okay. So I can already see Amir and Galda have done some translations already. So, um, okay. Let me pick one of Moses queries again. Now, um, briefly for um, just to show how Wikidata, you can add these um, these labels. If you go on Wikidata and you go to the property called continents, if you can still see my screen, you would see an edit button at the top here it says edit. Oops. Once you click on it, the edit button, you will be able to see a, a form will be opened up for you. And then in this form, you are going to be able to edit the labels that already exist. You can also edit the descriptions about those labels and even add an alias. An alias is Another name that the label could be known by. Um, and then all the languages that you have in your Babel box that um, Galda showed us, you would see that you know fields for all of those languages would open up for you. And you're going to be able to add the labels and descriptions to it. But uh, the labels are the more important thing here today. So as you can see in my Babel box, you can see English, Akan, Arabic, Tagbani, French, Haratri. That is why these languages are showing, are showing up for me. If your Bible has maybe Igbo included, you will be able to see a field for Igbo, and then you can add a label there for Igbo, for continent, for example. Let's see what people are saying in the chat. There's a question from Okara, and it says, um, I don't know if I'm the only one having this issue. I cannot minimize and do something else. If I click the link sent to work on them, I will automatically be logged out. And when I'm back, you know, other chats will go. Hmm.
So Bonaventure, let us know if you are being logged out of Zoom or if you are joining us from mobile. And Amir is giving us some interesting insights here. They say that the, the Hebrew language is lucky in some things. For example, they have pretty good web presence, dictionaries, print and online, the terminology, machine translation, blah, blah, blah. But it's far from perfect. I've just encountered several properties from the domain of chemistry and biology, and I haven't found them in any dictionaries. Maybe this is a good point to translate um, these properties <laughs> around chemistry and biology. And the, um, I said that. Yes, sir. Yeah, Raha is asking a question that um, I think um, uh, Amir has given a good answer to that. She's asking why um, I see the limit to be 10. Can you explain that, please? So like I mentioned earlier on, um, you can actually run the query to determine all untranslated properties in a specific language. But sometimes um, due to the, the load, it may take some time, or maybe if the internet is not strong, it may take some time. But for the purpose of this uh, workshop, we don't want participants to take so much time waiting for their query results to, to load. That's where we are limiting it to 10. You can actually change the number. As you can see in the query, the, the, the codes at the bottom, you see um, the limit, we made it um, 10. You can actually change the number there. So we are making it 10 for the purpose of this uh, workshop. Okay. Thanks for that, Lisa. And about this logging out, from Zoom problem. Hmm. I would ask Richard to look at it and let's see. Um, since a number of people have the same issue. Um, Sadiq is asking, I would kindly ask that you demonstrate how participants can add the lip the Babel to their Wikidata user page as it will help make things much easier for the session. Yes, um, Musa would want to do that. Hello, Musa. Yeah, hello. Yes, do, do you want to quickly share your screen and just demonstrate again how to include the Babel box? Oh, okay. Yeah. And I'll stop sharing mine. Um, as you prepare to share your screen, let's go back to the chat. So can you see my, my, my screen? So I think Sadiq was asking if you could actually go to your to your user page and then yeah. next slide and then okay. Okay. Are you see my, my screen? Yes, we can see your screen. Yeah. So any where you are on Wikidata, this is the interface. You go to and click on your user name. Mine is Musa FM. So I click on it. 
these are the languages that I've added that, or I'm telling uh, Wikidata that I can edit or I can edit on or I can read. So you can edit this by clicking on the um, edit. When you click on edit, this is the sort code for the Bible, my Bible box. So I can decide to add um, any language, the languages that uh, I can edit in. So I edit in uh, English, and I also edit in Dagbani, then I also edit in Hausa. Assuming I want to add, um, let's say, Gruni or the Frafra language. I come and add the pipe here, then I type the language code, let's say G-U-R, that is for the Guruni language. Then um, dash and then add your level of proficiency. So maybe I'm a beginner in that language, so let me place um, one. So you can add other languages, but first of all, you type the pipe, then the language code, dash and then your level of proficiency. The higher the number, the more proficient you are in that language. And the lower the number, the less proficient you are in that language. Then you come and publish changes. So you see that initially Guruni was not part of the languages I edit in in my Bible box, but now it has just been added. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. And um, just to add to that, the, for the purpose of the of having um, of saying the languages in your Bible box, box <laughs> um, the level of proficiency isn't very relevant. Although okay. you know to show up in the user page is for other editors to sort of know your level of proficiency. So um, I think the question, um, who was asking the question? Yeah, Sadiq. Yeah, you can simply just enter the language without including the level of proficiency and Wikidata would still know that you, you know, um, uh, you know that language as a native speaker. Um, looking at the charts again. Okay, so um, can we do, yes, after clicking on the changing the language code in the query that Musa shared with you, you simply click on the blue play button. I hope it works for you. If not, let us know. Um, Bukala is sharing. Okay, I think Bukala, you had it right. So you can start translating these properties in the query results. So I have a question for, uh, for you, Musa and Gal. Um, and I think Amir was, you know, uh, said something along those lines also. If I don't, if I'm not a domain expert, as Amir said, in like science and some, like in a very technical field, and I want to do some translations in there, and I don't know what to do, I think, should I just put a word there, or should I? What would you advise me to do? I want to translate technical terms, but I don't. Yeah, so <laughs> as we talked about the earlier on uh, about the challenges we face uh, in translating properties, uh, one of the biggest challenges is translating uh, technical terms or unfamiliar terms. Um, Wikidata, Wikidata is something that um, uh, volunteers all over the world contribute to. So assuming in the Dagbani community, we have so many volunteers editing on Dagbani on Wikidata. So if I come across 
a property that I cannot translate. Uh, what I would say is you leave it. Maybe somebody else will be able to translate it. So the person will be able to translate it. Or you go, maybe mention it in your discussion pages, then you talk about it. If there are others who know it, they will suggest it to come out to agree on the best possible translation to give to that uh, terminology. If not, you leave it. <laughs> That's the best I can say for now. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. They say uh, Wikidata, uh, one of the features is saying that uh, Wikidata is, the work done there is collaborative. It's not for one man's, it's not one man's job. Everybody, a lot of people come together to edit on Wikidata. So when you come across something, uh, you are not conversant with it. I think it's better to leave it than to give a translation that is completely inaccurate. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Musa. Um, could you unshare your screen, Musa? I would like Galda to do an actual demo of, you know, um, editing or adding a label to the property. Galda, if you could share your screen. And okay. So. Okay, so I think you are seeing my screen, isn't it? Yes, we can. Yes, so this will be the lab, the, the, the same one for, for Basque language that is here in you. And then if I click play, I get 10, 10 I, I have to translate. So the first one will be review a score by, so I can click here, this property, and I can see how it can be translated in other languages, like review score by, and in Spanish is who can have score. And this, this can help me with the translation. So what I do is I click here in the, in the pencil, and then I write in Basque, like, uh, and it also helps some description, like, um, And, and if I have like two suggestions for translating, I can also add another label here. The last, this is for aliases. Like, uh, uh, and then I save. I have an, maybe I have another interface, but it's like that. I can save here. Um, this is done. This, this is one in, in here. And I can see like the, the last uh, translations and it's, it's here my translation. So we can, feel, we can see that Amir and Sanita are really active now. And so if I click here, it still will be there because no, it's, it's done. Sometimes it needs some time for translation. So I will put here like a limit of 30, easier. And well, I have, here one that is really easy, Google Books ID. This, this actually yeah. is the same for everyone in the world. So that cannot hear um, so, uh, Sorry, Valentin, please. Valentin, please mute yourself. Yeah. That's it. And um, so I can um, I, I can see for another one, for example, I have Crystal Abit. Uh, I know about this because I studied geology. So uh, Abit. Uh, and, and I can give a description here. Uh, And so I have a description there. And, and actually that's it. I mean, it will be, let's see another one. Um, this one. And, and it's like that. I don't know if it's uh, clear, but uh, that should be the, that should be the, the way to do that. Okay. 
Thanks, Kelda. James, um, I hope this helped. If not, let us know. Um, I have a question, though. Um, and I know this is something that some communities, I mean, not the English language, the Wikidata community, but some, some of the smaller language communities are struggling with, is um, should they translate external identifiers like Google Books ID? You know, people are having questions as to, is this like a proper noun? Is this something that can be translated as Google and then translating books? And I guess adding the ID or like, do you have suggestions for smaller communities and how they should handle, you know, even discuss translating external identifiers? Any advice for them? And this is to everyone, if, um, not just Galda and Musa. Probably Amir also. <laughs> So as people think about that, um, and I know Sadiq is here also. Sadiq, um, you can let us know how is our community dealing with external identifiers. I see a question here, though. Um, Calvin is asking: Is Wikidata different from Wiki Translate? Calvin, do you mean Translate Wiki? Translate Wiki. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's what they mean. Do you want to take it, Musa? Um, to the best of my uh, knowledge, um, this one talks about uh, translating the properties on the wiki data, the major features on the uh, wiki data. And um, to the best of my knowledge, translate wiki talks about um, uh, like the features we see on the um, Wikipedia. Um, we translate those ones. Yeah, to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Amir is here. I think he, he can help in that regard. <laughs> okay, looks like Amir is not an active participant. So there are no rules. Yeah, I can oh, change okay. that. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Amir should be able Amir. to mute himself now. Amir, if you can hear us. Um, we're curious to know if... Um, um, can anybody hear yeah. me? Yes, we can. Hi. Good. So my name is Amir Aroni, and uh, I am one of the administrators uh, on uh, Translate Wiki. So the answer is yes, the accounts are separate. Um, the Wikidata account is the same as the Wikipedia account. They use the same username and password. TranslateWiki.net is a separate website. It's closely related, but it's a separate website uh, with its own account. The, they can have the same name, but it's a separate account. So you, you, you have to create a separate one. The difference between the two websites is that Wikidata is a database of information about all kinds of various things in the world. People, countries, cities, historical events, and so on. And uh, the information in that database uh, can be translated to any language. Translate Wiki is the place where user interface strings of Wikipedia and Wikidata and some other related websites are translated. So it's where you translate the labels of buttons such as uh, log in, log out, uh, create account, edit, submit, uh, publish, delete, and so on. So uh, both things are very useful. If you know any language and you can write in that language, your contributions are very welcome, both on Wikidata and on ClosetWiki.net. And thank you for any contributions that you can make. Thank you for that, Amir. So they are separate um, accounts, there are separate projects.
So are you able to translate things? Because I, I'm seeing only three names here in the recent chains. So yeah. <laughs> yes. please go on. Um, people no. translate. <laughs> there are 10,000 properties on Wikidata. You would have something to translate on this. Um, So Amir mentioned uh, Stuart and C. Stuart is translating also. So, um, what Amir was talking about is when you run the query, um, the first result would be the properties you don't know how to translate. That's very true. Yeah, like, like I like I get ten the first ten untranslated things. I translate, let's say, seven of them, and three of them I don't know how to translate. And then when I run the query again. I get again the same three that I cannot translate and seven others. And out of the seven new ones, there are two more that I cannot translate. So now I have five things that I cannot translate. <laughs> and like after a few cycles like that, all the first results are things that I cannot translate. So I need to go to the like, I need to do some more. I can, I, I like, I can, th there's no way to filter them out because that's how queries uh, work. Perhaps you could. Remove the sorry, you could remove the limits, run the query, um, have you know, big number of results. Yeah, that's that's what I did. Through it. That's what I did, but uh, again, like after a few cycles, uh, you, you have to like uh, scroll more and more. Like, I wish there yeah. was uh, like, uh, though, I wish there was a tool that uh, shows them, and then you can, uh, I don't know, you can somehow skip it more efficiently. I'm not sure how this requires some uh, proper design and development work, but uh, I like I have wished uh, for such a tool uh, pretty much since uh, Wikidata existed. Yeah, I think um, we have a page on Wikidata somewhere where you can propose like tools for the community to, to develop. I think this would be a really useful tool for people to have. You know, so if you encounter a property, you can translate, you just click on it and say, I don't want to translate this, show me that. That'd be really cool to have. Let me see if I can dig up that page and then we can put it up there. Maybe someone who writes um, tools or scripts could do it. There's a question here from Raja. Um, um, where do I translate from the query answers? I don't think I understand what Raja means by that. I can see the untranslated properties, but I cannot see edit. Yeah, so I don't know. Whilst we are Participants are trying their hands on, uh, you know, Galda, Galda uh, did a demo in the Basque language. I don't know whether we could do another one in maybe Dagbani. Um, yes, I think mm. that, would, that, yeah, that would be helpful. And we yeah. have many Dagbani language speakers here, so we can talk about how to translate that particular, like, you know, example property. Um, so share so, your screen and then let's do it. Yeah, it's like you, uh -huh, okay.
So let's do it starting from the query results, Musa. Yeah, okay. So after... Um, Could you perhaps let, remove the limit so that we have... Um, okay, so let me, let, me, let me put 100 or... 100 is okay, or? Yes. Yeah, okay. So I hope it doesn't leave me. My <laughs> network is terrible here. Um, so after clicking on the, the link to the query, you have this. Then you run it by clicking on the blue um, play button here to run the query. So it is loading. So we have, so I've extended the limit to 100. So I now have 100 untranslated properties in Dagbani. Uh -huh. So root map is not translated, transfer network is not spouse and all that. So to translate a property, you click on the, the blue link to the property. See, maybe spouse. So you click on it. Um, so because I told Wikidata, I it in English, Dagbani, Frafra, and Hausa. But uh, for now, I'm translating, uh, I'm editing on the Dagbani. So I'm adding a Dagbani label for spouse. So you come and click on pencil-like icon, edit, you click on it. Uh, it opens the door for you to be able to edit. So you come to the column for Dagbani. Hey, Sarah, how do you translate spouse? <laughs> uh, maybe pa, pa be Um. Ah? Uh? Um. I'm just thinking about it. Since you clicked on the spouse, I've been thinking about it. <laughs> so oh. in Dagbani, spouse refers to wife. Uh, I, I think it refers spouse is talking about your wife or your husband, right? Yeah. So in Dagbani, we see pa and maybe or yidana. Pa be yidana. Uh, that is your wife or wife or husband. That's the closest I can think of. Now, could so you we have that? change uh -huh. the, the first P to a small P. Small, OK, lower keys. OK, thank you. Yeah. That's spouse. So you can click on the publish. So we now have a label for spouse in Dagbani. Um, you can add a description to it. Uh, I think Sada did that earlier on. So that's how you would translate the property. Um, let me just add this also. So I, I see that the folks from the Hausa community had, I, I don't know if this is, a, this is a convention for them, but it looks pretty, um, pretty, you know, convenient, if I should say. So they also have Mata and Miji. And then instead of using the word or, which is B, they just use a slash. So maybe this is something that the Bani language community could also think of. If you have something like this, how to resolve it, perhaps a slash instead of the word or. What do you think? Uh, I think that's my initial I was thinking of. Uh, that was what I was thinking about. I think it's, 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 it's fine. So, um, The interesting thing about that Bani language is that is not gender uh, neutral, right, Musa? Um, it is not for most words, I think. Yeah. So, so in I English, so where we have just a gender neutral mm -hmm. term in the Bani. Oh, you mean for the like, spouse? Yeah, for the spouse. Yeah, we don't have one word for spouse, ah, mm -hmm. to the best of my knowledge. I'm not a, an expert in that one. Let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that I've just run the query again, and you can find spouse again. So it's no longer a, a property that is not completed. So when you run the query, it will not be among again. As you can see, it was around about the third or so. It's no longer there again. Cool. So the query will not capture that again. Uh, then nice. I think the easiest one here is family. <laughs> I wonder why it's not yet translated. <laughs> family, 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 that's... Hey, 
<laughs> but I want to, we have Dan and we have Dwam. I think family would rather be Zulia. Zulia? No. I so think that's Zulia it. has to do with like, like you know, like I, your progeny. Uh, I, yeah, and, and it's, been, I, it's even like a borrowed weight. I'm thinking of Dan or Dwam. Um, <laughs> um, so let's put Dan. Uh, Big, big drum. These drum. are the drums, and I think. Okay, so that's yeah, yeah. Dang. <laughs> uh, Dang is a little like. Uh, it's like somebody was saying, Dang is more like uh, the extended family, and Dwam is that of uh, the nuclear. Yeah, the that of the nuclear, mm. and this is family. So yes. in English, family. Either is nuclear or extended, it's still family. But in the <laughs> we have different words for it. <laughs> and probably um, looking at where we're coming from, emphasis is more on the larger family than the nuclear. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, talking about cultural perspective. Yeah. Mm. But I think any of them, any of them is okay. Okay. So, we publish. <laughs> I hope Raha is uh, answered. Um, ah, so why am I seeing this? Oh, I think so. That's an edit conflict. Somebody to is there. Yeah, I need to edit it. So oh, okay. I need to refresh and see if something has changed. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, someone already added it, but they started with the capital D. Maybe you could change that to the lower caps. And in the description also change it to lower caps. So Bukola is asking, um, um, I'm not sure what question Sadiq is reacting to. But yeah, Bukola, please unmute yourself and then um clarify what we are trying to ask. Uh, maybe Richard would have to, to give him the right permissions. Cool. Okay. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, um so uh trying to um, translate uh, one of the properties that I ran, the query for sex or gender at Yoruba. And while uh, scrolling through the item for sex or gender, I couldn't find Yoruba on the list of languages that we are available. So I would like to ask, why is, why is it so? Is it that there's no Yoruba or do I have to do or carry out some other uh, procedure that is not clear here because I saw Yiddish. Yiddish is also a language and it begins with Y, but Yoruba is not on the list of languages that are available. Okay, that's that's a good question. Um, who would like to take this call back, Musa? Maybe uh, um, you need to edit your user page and make sure that you have a Babel box on your user page. And maybe you have it and by mistake you, you wrote YI, which is the code for Yiddish, instead of YO, which is the code for Yoruba. Uh, that's, that's just a guess, I might be wrong. But check your user page on uh, Wikidata. It, it, it is supposed to have a Babel box. I can check it for you. What, what is your username? Okay, my username is um, Buki658. Is that in the etherpad? Or maybe you could share it in the chat? Yes, it's on the etherpad. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, yeah, just share it. Yes, you don't have Bookie six five eight. You don't have a Babel box on your user page at all. 
um, so you should add, I, I, I can do it for you quickly so that we don't uh, uh, waste uh, time. Uh, give me just a few seconds, I will do it for you and uh, later you can change it. Um, so I'm doing this, uh, this, so this is a global user page. You have a global user page, which is actually good. Uh, so it's actually on meta, uh, on uh, meta.wikimedia.org and not on Wikidata. So I'm changing this and I'm indicating that you have uh, English and uh, Yoruba as your languages. Uh, and I save this and now you have, now you have them on your user page. So now try to refresh the page and check whether you have uh, Yoruba. Okay, thank you very much. I'll do that right away. Welcome. Okay, Goody has a question here. I did my first label translation. How do I, please check it out okay. here. Do I need to translate the whole description? Um, Goody is asking if they need to translate the description also. You can do it if you want. Um, but for this session, the labels are more important. But yeah, it would be really cool if you added um, the descriptions and even an alias. Um, I can see um, Luca making so many translations and so many others also. Come by a cow, Musa FM, six nineteen. I see Amir, I see Zakwaha, I see, of course, I see Techland. Yeah, look, I am today. <laughs> um, Gungbe, oh, uh, Gungbe Wikipedians. Um, nice to see you here. Um, <laughs> Do you have any questions? Um, are you familiar with you know making translations, property translations on Wikidata, doing by Wikipedia? Okay, good. Maybe you could translate a few properties and let's and let's have a Goombe added to the number of properties translated today. I just saw some big TikTok music ID. Um, yeah, and that brings me back to my earlier question, Sadek. Um, what do you think about external identifiers, translating them into that manner? Is this something that you do? Or is this, um, do you just leave them as they are? Or you spell them differently? Um, or just translate the keywords in the ID. What is the approach of the Tagmanian language community? What I'm looking at here is you translated just the, the music and left everything else. Um, okay, which could be one way.
Um, Calvin is asking. I'm at the property and I want to translate mother house to account. But I cannot find the editable text field. Yeah, it would be helpful to know which um, what is your username and Calvin you are using. Dave, thanks for passing by. And uh, you can always reach out to any of the panelists here. Ooh, Ukola just did their first translation. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so um, about external identifiers, Sadiq says they translate everything except the ID. And Galvez said they should do that and just leave the ID. I think I also prefer that approach to translate everything and just leave the ID as it is. And maybe even not translate, translate it like just leave it as it is, if it makes sense. Um, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, Rukaya Hamidu just succeeded in translating the property. Whoa. And yeah, Sadiq, um, Richard, can you give Sadiq the rights? permission to speak? Yeah, I'll do that now. Okay, so I think you should be able to now. I think you have the right permissions now. You can unmute yourself. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear yes, you. Yes, we can hear you. Okay, great. Um, so I was just coming to respond to your comment on the external IDs. I think it's something that we tried so much to translate. And sometimes when we translate them, it becomes very difficult for us, even we, the editors, self, to identify what we have translated. So it's like a balanced way. Sometimes it just makes sense, like um, Calvin suggested, that we leave them like that so that at least we can understand them but as time goes on, it is important for us to find translations for all of that. Yeah, that's just all that I wanted to share. But you know, it, it's something that most of the communities will face, especially uh, with translations. Sometimes you just don't know um, how to find those meanings in your own language. So it's quite um, challenging, but mm -hmm. we do as much as we can. Yeah, that makes sense. And I'm curious, um, Amir and Galva, um, how are your like different communities dealing with external identifiers? Do you just leave them as they are because they are IDs? Or do you try to translate the normally I go the yeah. name names of identifiers? Uh, I like I, I do it case by case. Uh, some sometimes I totally translate it. Uh, sometimes I mean the, the word identifier, I usually translate it. To Hebrew, uh, like I instead of like ID or identifier, I, I write a Hebrew word, and then I write the name. Sometimes I write it in English. Sometimes I translate it. Like it depends. Uh, sometimes it sometimes it's very weird to transliterate something into Hebrew. Sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's okay, case by case. But the, because you know, eventually, where will it appear? It will appear on an item page in in a long list of other identifiers. And I try to imagine how will it look in a long list of other identifiers. And I try to choose something that will look good in that list. That, that's pretty much it. So I, I don't have a very strict rule. And I, I, think that, I think that other people who edit in my language do the same. Cool, that's helpful to know. Yeah, do you have a, a perspective on this?
Call the young with it. It will be. Yes, I, I will make something similar, like leave ID. In this example, for example, I will leave TikTok like that because it's a uh, brand name. Then I could just like music or not. It depends if TikTok music is something specific. And then um, I can leave ID if it's very, very long, but I, I will I will definitively translate uh, the word ID that is ident identifier. I will do that. But if this doesn't exist in your language or is really weird or no one is going to understand, then it doesn't happen nothing if you leave ID because it's like an internet word or something like that. But yes, it, again, it depends on what you are translating. So for people who are not trying to translate this kind of IDs, they are not so relevant as translating like family, spouse, or continent, or these kind of words that are more easier to find and, and are going to be understood and read by people and not by machines. Yeah, I totally agree. I think external, well, the way I see them, I don't think they are relevant enough that they said to be translated. I feel they should be less the way they are because they are external ideas. Um, and um, yeah, but, and you know, this would be based on like how the different communities want them. But then um, generally I feel strongly about just like, just leave them alone and translate the other 3000 proposals. <laughs> uh, we are running out of time. Um, let's see if we have a few more questions other than that. Um, or comments or feedback or thoughts. Uh, we have like three more minutes. I'll be happy. We'll be happy to hear them. And a lot of you made your first edits today. That's so wonderful to see. I mean, your first translations on the Wikidata that is very nice. And also, don't forget to add your name to the Etherpad so we can see how much we translated today in the end. Come, um, come in. Thanks for passing by. Um, yeah, was if you have any questions or feedback later on, we are happy to take them. Thanks. Okay. So. Um, Yes, don't forget to add your name to the Etherpad and to stay in touch with um, other participants. Feel free to join the Celtic Notes Telegram groups. Um, and if you have any questions, you can continue to add them to, you can ask the panelists here or put them on the pad somewhere that would see them. And um, if there are no more questions in the last two minutes, let's keep translating and use up the last few seconds to add at least one more translation if you haven't done so if you haven't done so already. Um, so th there was that uh, thing that I mentioned earlier about my wish uh, for a tool to do these things uh, that would be more convenient than running the query. Uh, and uh, uh, somebody, maybe Muhammad, maybe something else uh, mentioned that I can post this wish somewhere, but I'm not sure where. Yes, I I'll send I would find the link and I'll share it with you. Thank you. I just have to dig a little. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just want to use this opportunity to thank Amir for all the support that he gave to the African communities. Like he's more like a superhero for us. Uh, we <laughs> thank, all... you. <laughs> thank you so much. And we will be very happy to have you in Ghana or any of the African countries. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. I, I really like I, I I've, I've spoken to all of you so much over the last uh, what three years or more, and uh, I would really love to come. Uh, it was it was impossible to come for a long time. Now it's maybe become impossible. I would really love to visit you sometime. I I have no idea when. Yeah, we look forward to that. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much for coming. I'm really grateful that we had some really interesting conversations. We 
we got some translations done, some people made their first translations. Thanks so much everyone for passing by and see you, see you around. <laughs>